My name's Dan Hawkins. I'm the guitarist. I'm the lead guitarist, Justin Hawkins, stroke singer. I'm Ed. And, oh, and also the best keyboard player in the whole world, according to Roy Thomas Baker. I'm Ed. I play the drums. Richie, <coughs> bass guitar. The reaction to the record has been overwhelmingly good or bad, actually. I reckon it's gone really well. Number three in Japan, which is a little country off the uh, in Asia. Um, in Ireland, it's going to be issued to people at birth uh, as their birthright to listen to it. And um, the bottom line is that we're all happy with it. And if anyone else likes it, it's a bonus. Directly in the centre. Yeah. <laughs> so, so this is Roy. Hi, <laughs> I'm Roy. <laughs> I I got a copy and looked at a couple of videos of theirs before we met, and then I think we all liked the same champagne. We all got on like a house on fire, <laughs> and it was downhill from there. <laughs> Whilst making the record, which uh, which normally it was it was. Uh, we did it as an open book scenario where so we tried everything and uh, and uh, if it worked it was great and if it didn't work then uh, then we tried something different. It was decadent in in the actual studio environment as as needs be to to get that those flourishes and stuff that that are absolutely necessary for a darkness record, you know. And obviously from my perspective it was really good to go into the studio with a band that had original ideas as opposed to just copying anyone else. The, the problems I've been seeing uh, is, is that a lot of bands go in the studio and they go, oh, can I have that bass drum sound and can I have that guitar sound and, and they spend all their time copying other people. These guys don't do that. <laughs> I think yeah. I think this record, this record's uh, more capable than the first of creating the illusion of sincerity, <laughs> <laughs> with, a, with, a, with a warmth and charm that will deceive many. Hopefully, <laughs> they can't, can't seem to to win, you know, because critics either say it's um, are they still too silly, or or they've lost their sense of humour and they're trying to be too sensible now. We had a frustrating period where we were we were promoting the album and and uh, people hadn't actually heard it. I mean, if you catch someone's attention, then great, but they're going to need to listen to the song or get the album to get it anyway. I think, I think the um, Dinner Lady Arms especially is like, um, it's supposed to be a, a story about an elderly couple who get back together after a long time, and um, it's called Dinner Lady Arms because it's named after the flaps, flaps of skin that, that the elderly ladies have, you know, that when, when they've got too much skin. Bingo Wings is an <laughs> yes. alternative name for them. You know, the phrase itself is amusing, but the, the song is just is just about um, you know getting back together after a long time and realizing that despite the sort of physical differences, that there's still something that you you see in each other. You know, often Dan comes with chords, and um, and then I do the melodies while we're all together, and then I have to go off and do the lyrics afterwards. You know. I think we got you know we're, we're, you learn and you learn and you learn and I think one one of the main lessons from that is we learn we're, we're going to give ourselves far more time to do than we even think that we need for for the next album the next campaign because we just because we, we you just there is just not enough hours in the day. Just keep control. <laughs> you say take no, control. No, you've got to do that. I'm not saying take control. No, no, no. Right, you say it and I'll say take control. Okay. Okay. Right. <laughs> With the darkness, you're watching UGO.com. Take control. <laughs>